Many of Kokomo's youth play baseball today from T-ball to high school. But before there was organized play in town, the kids had to learn how to play from someone else. The man that largely influenced generations of kids and began organized baseball in Kokomo was named Circus John Byers. Circus was born in Pulaski, Tennessee sometime in the mid-1800s. Around 1870, he joined several Wild West shows, including that of Buffalo Bill. From there, he joined the circus and even traveled with the Barnum and Bailey for a stint. Circus began playing baseball in Indianapolis in 1890. He never played in the major leagues because he lived in a time when African Americans were excluded. He did, however, play professional ball in the Negro Leagues. In 1919, he came to Kokomo saying that this was a special community for baseball. He began teaching kids the fundamentals of baseball, started teams, and gathered donations for uniforms. He made the kids live by the rules if they wanted to play for him. No drinking, no smoking, and no profanity. He was also the creator of the Western Black Sox, Kokomo's only African-American baseball team. He was also an influential figure in the development of amateur baseball throughout the city. Circus John played into his 80s until a tree fell on him and broke his ankle in 1951. On November 15, 1960, Circus John died in Kokomo. He was in his 90s. He was buried in Crown Point Cemetery in his baseball uniform. His grave site can be found on the southeast corner of the cemetery. So, if you've grown up playing baseball in Kokomo and never knew who was the father of youth baseball in the city, now you know.